How you doing? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's great. It's nice to see you. Great to see you, Nick. So, um, you've got new stuff since we last saw you. Uh, yes, sort of. Uh, we've got uh, like we, we've got the new Plasma Voice um, uh, Eurac module, which uh, we have six of, as you can see here. Uh, you don't need six, but we did it to prove a point that you don't need anything else. You know, right. the point is the, the versatility and uh, tweakability of of the Plasma Voice. So in this configuration here, like uh, the, the, it's a uh, standalone, it, like this is a ca performance case, and basically I've had I have it set up so that the first four voices are on drum duties, and these two are kind of melodic voices. So I'll be happy to show you uh, the variety of sounds that we can squeeze out of the Plasma Voice. So what? just tell me, what is the Plasma Voice? It's, uh, it's your first kind of single voice module, is that right? You're right. Exactly, right. yeah. So it's, uh, uh, it's basically the evolution of that, of the kind of Plasma uh, line. So initially the Plasma was a uh, product that we made for uh, guitarists, mostly with guitar and rock and that kind of stuff in mind. So our idea was that we felt like we have invented a new type of distortion circuit. So basically it's uh, using a uh, step-up uh, flyback current transformer to raise the, uh, the voltage from audio level to somewhere around 3000 volt discharges, like short bursts of 3000 volt discharges. <laughs> Not at all and dangerous, of course. In <laughs> Sorry, I mean, yeah, you can safe. seriously bur burn your fingers, fingernails maybe if you stick your fingers in there. But, but the plasma pedal is kind of, it's been around. So the idea is to take audio level signal and use a step up current transformer to produce a uh, electrical arc. And that arc discharges and goes to ground but we're using a special electromagnetic rectifier circuit to collect a new source of signal, which is then amplified and then expressed as audio. Is so it, basically is it turning, turning the normal audio signal into super, like a plasma arc and then collecting the electromagnetic emissions from the plasma arc. Wow. And that is the kind of nature of the kind of electrical sound that the plasma tube makes. Wow. Okay. Is it related to those like the? Because some people make music with uh, Tesla coils. That's don't they? the same principle, same principle more or less. Right. But in the Tesla coil, like the musical Tesla coil, the sound is produced acoustically because the electricity literally is uh, like uh, heating up air, and the air, the pops, it creates pops right. in the air, and the air is what makes the tones. So here, the system is silent. It's safe, and so on. We're actually using a. Uh, Flash bulb, which are flash bulbs like these, like xenon tubes, which are traditionally used in st stroboscope lights, and actually we're s dramatically underpowering these tubes. Right. Uh, so they're meant to be operated in a different in different conditions, like to produce quick, super bright flashes. But we're kind of uh, sending current to them in a different way to produce a uh, kind of plasma electrical arc. So basically super long intro but the plasma voice is the evolution of that kind of technology so we had a bunch of pedals with the plasma but now here this is uh, the same uh, kind of tube circuit there's also a transformer uh, inside and there's a digital processor uh, under the hood so to say that uh, is capable of controlling lots of parameters uh, within the transformer and plasma tube like circuits. Right. So we can create a uh, discharge by sending some sort of, sort of like impulse. Then so, we can so waveforms. You can make so, waveforms. So, sort of like base wave shapes. It's actually a giant list of parameters that can be sent, including like the pulse width of the discharges the how much vo how many like how many volts in each discharge and so on right. there's a right. carrier frequency modulation frequency and so on so basically there's a load of parameters under the hood but uh, it allows you to create to induce like uh, self resonance and so all sorts of different electrical properties within the uh, within, within the uh, within the tube so the plasma voice is designed around this concept of banks and, and sounds. So there are seven banks. Uh, 
each bank is specifically uh, contains seven variations or engines or sounds. So, for example, bank one is uh, seven types of bass sound engines. And then we have lead sounds, plucks, drum sounds, metal, static, and spark. So ah, okay. these, ah, right, okay. the, these latter two, they're kind of more open to interpretation. But basically, um, those are custom-made, hand kind of crafted, uh, like b engine banks that are specifically tailored to, to create sounds that fit in a musical context. And you have a common slider logic, like pitch uh, modulation, uh, decay time, Module mod stands for modulation. Oh, so it's like a full voice, essentially. Yeah, it's full voice. Uh, so you have like you can control uh, the decay time for each one of those sounds. The mod is usually like vibrato or frequency modulation or sure. something like that. Harm is an ambiguous term meant to indicate harmonics or harmonization or just harm. Uh, flux. Of affects us right. most usually the voltage and pulse width of the actual discharge. So this is your go-to slider to change the electrical sound right, gotcha. properties. And this is an analog filter that when you go like uh, in the positive direction, it acts as a filter with Hi, an envelope, like right. a pure, pure, like oh, that. Okay, all right. And then on the this direction, it's a static filter. But there is actually, it's a multi-mode filter, and in the settings, you can change it to be High pass, low pass, DJ Hi. style filter, or or the one I just described. We better hear something. Yeah, let's hear something. All right, uh, let's start with. I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna start with with this guy here, and uh, and the first thing I'll do I'm gonna set it into oscillator mode, and I'm gonna show you a variety of sounds and how they sound in simple oscillator mode. Okay. So. So that was bank one. Those were like some base engines, right? But now I'm going to show you the other engines and I'm not going to be so thorough. I'm just going to show you, for example, okay. the last two ones are static and spark. So they're very fun. Of course, they can be getting uh, CV for pitch. Sorry? You can send CV and run pitches through yeah, them and all yeah. that. So, wow. <laughs> so, okay, like this is the whatever. It does a lot of sounds. Now I'm going to use uh, LFO to switch between the various engines, but we're ah, still okay. in uh, oscillator mode.
now I'm going to switch the module into like uh, the trigger mode, which means that I can trigger sounds with the with the manual trigger or with the trigger input, and we're gonna send it like the base like a normal sequence. Finally. So it's quite, I mean, it's quite a, uh, a noise type of thing. But I've heard, I'm sure I've heard another demo where it's going to also make some beautiful soft sounds as well. Yeah. So I, I, we shouldn't so just brand it with the, the, the noise vibe. So now this one here is set up as a drum. Second one is set up as a hi hat. So this one here is as a snare drum. I think it's personally the best snare drum I've heard in Eurorack, but uh, let's obviously kind of taste. Don't take that too seriously, but <laughs> because like uh, you can never find a good snare drum. No, but for okay. me, this this has really solved the problem. For <laughs> and here, this one is get an another kind of per percussive thing. I, okay. Gotcha. And now this one. Really got some doof to it, hasn't it? Okay. Is that where's that reverb coming from? Is that coming from this pedal here? So we showed the pedal concept at the NAM show, and uh, this is about this is still kind of unreleased stuff, but uh, this is coming very very soon. So what you're doing right now with your camera, you are getting close to the antenna. The antenna is sending a, uh, a control okay, signal yeah. that opens up the send into the reverb. So this is like a kind of almost like a what AHP dual AHP foot pedal with CV. Um, so it, it's a it's a guitar pedal. pedal if you want to it to be or like a, a, any pedal, but basically it can use the instrument's dynamics and pitch uh, information to create control voltages, which can then be used to change the effects parameters. So for example, what I can do is I can say. I want no reverb on the low strings, and then as I cross a certain threshold, oh, nice. then start generating CV. What you do with that CV is up to you, but in this case, for example, we have the CV from the theremin sent into the sent into the input level of the of the reverb. So the most common things you can do with this, is like you can set a, a breaking point for, the, uh, for example. Take uh, as a guitarist, you can take a certain note, and then everything above that note will start opening parameters up. Oh, right. That's or cool. with the dynamics side of things, what you can do is you can uh, generate CV once a certain input threshold is uh, right is uh, oh, passed. No. So, for example, 
one of the one of the pedals that we have there in the in the first ba kind of like uh, like the first initial lineup is the chorus, and then you can say, I want uh, the chorus effect to blend in and gradually decay, but only on the strums. So, oh, nice. so s we're slowly, as you can see, kind of interconnecting the whole lineup. It's uh, we started off with I weird pedals, n graduated towards very weird synths, such as the motor synth, and uh, now we've uh, got your after, after having worked for so for, for quite a while on this Eurac module, we got inspired from some of those modular concepts, such as control voltage and so on, and uh, kind of. Yeah, introduce so those concepts into the guitar pedal. Plasma Voice is, is it available now? Because well, last time I saw you, we were going to look at it, but it wasn't quite ready. So Yeah, so the Plasma Voice is out and available right now. So it's it's been out for for for, for a while now, but uh, yeah, they're, they're sh like, uh, it's, uh, the Plasma Voice is $4.99. Yeah. And it's available both through us directly and also through our list, through our partners. So we have, there's, we have some now, but they're going fast. And the uh, and the pedals, they're still concept. They're still kind of yeah. Prototypes. The pedals are kind of concept, but uh, yeah. Stay tuned. There's going to be an announcement soon. We're aiming at May, basically, to kind of uh, have them available everywhere. See you in Superbooth then. See you there. Cheers, cheers, everybody.